Now finally in this section we are going to start with JavaScript. In our previous session we have seen all the things related to JavaScript. What is JavaScript? Where JavaScript is used? How to set up VS Code? And what are the some extensions which are required to start with programming? Now in this session we are going to see what are the ways to execute JavaScript. Now in this I am going to show you four different ways of executing JavaScript. First using console tab. Second using node.js. Node.js is also the way to run JavaScript. Node.js we are going to install in next session. Third we are going to use external javascript and fourth we are going to use internal javascript okay first i'm just going to open console tab so to open that one i have just opened my chrome browser right click on this inspect okay our console tab is opened here i will show you another method just click on this Control shift j our console tab will be opened now what i'm going to do here we are having this console tab. I will just increase the size. You can see this is our console tab. Inside this we can run JavaScript. Okay, if you are a beginner, then you can directly use this console tab and you can run JavaScript. But for complex projects and complex programs, we will not be using this console tab. Only to see the output, we will be using this console tab. So here, let me just write here 2 plus 3. Okay, it is going to give me the result. Now if I just write here console, console.log and inside this I just want to print um, welcome all. Welcome all. Enter, you can see it is going to give me this welcome all as my output. Okay, in this console tab, JavaScript can be executed. Here we have multiple tabs. As of now, you don't have to worry about this one. Okay, we are just going to focus on this console tab, which is used to run our JavaScript. Okay, simple basic you can just write here. If I just write here all, I will execute. It is going to give me the result. And also if I just give here var x is equal to 10, then if I just display x, you can see it is going to give me the result as 10. Okay, this is how we can just execute JavaScript and this is the first way of executing JavaScript that is inside console tab. Second way is using Node.js. Node.js is nothing but it is a JavaScript runtime environment. Okay, as in our previous session, we have already seen how this was discovered, where Node.js is used, everything we have seen. In next session, I will be telling you how to download and install this Node.js. Okay, as of now, I am not going to install this in this session. But in next session, I will tell you how to download and install and also how to execute our JavaScript code using this Node.js. Okay, first method we have seen using console tab. Second is using Node.js. You can see it is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Now we are going to see our third method. I have created one folder, JS tutorial. I'll just open my VS Code editor. And inside this, I'm just going to create one file. First, let me just write here uh, index.html. Index.html. Okay, this is my HTML file. Inside this, I'm just going to execute this. Now inside this body, let me just write one h1. I'll just write here JavaScript course. JavaScript course and below this I'm just going to write here script tag. Okay, JavaScript code can be written inside the script tags. Okay, previously also we have seen this one. Inside HTML document, we are having plenty of tags to run JavaScript we have to wrap javascript code inside the script tags now here inside this let me just create one variable var and a is equal to 10 then i just want to display this one using this console.log and here i'll just want to display a i will just save this one 
I will come here. I before that let me just copy this path. Copy path and here I am just going to open this path. Now you can see here I am having this H1. Whatever H1 I have written that is being displayed. But what I have written here that is not being displayed. Because we are not using DOM as of now. But inside console tab you can see 10 is being displayed. Whatever value I have given to A that is being displayed. Now if I just change here to I will just write here hello. I will save this. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see hello will be displayed. Okay, here whatever code we are having inside HTML that is displayed. Whatever I have written inside this console which is wrapped inside the script tag that is displayed inside this console tab. Okay, as of now we have not used DOM. So we are not able to print this data inside this HTML. Later when you learn about DOM you will be able to print this data on the browser okay where we are having javascript course dynamically we can get the data here inside this browser okay this is the third way that is internal javascript using script tags inside html document we are just going to execute this javascript now again i'm just going to create one file i will just write here script.js Okay, this is external JavaScript. Let me just comment this one. I have just commented. I'll come to script.js. Now inside this, I'm just going to write here var. And let me just write here uh, name. Name is equal to, I will be writing my name, Hanum. Now below this, I will just display, it. I will just print this one, console.log. And inside this, I'm just going to write here name. I will save this. I will come here. Now if I refresh this one, I am not going to get any result inside console. But here I have written this console tab. Even then I will not be getting any result. Because whenever we are using this external JavaScript, we have to link this inside this document, inside this HTML document. So for that, I am just going to write here script colon src now inside src i'm just going to write here script.js i will save this now i will come i will refresh this one you can see khanam is displayed okay this is how we are going to execute javascript there are many ways but we are just going to execute using console using node.js internal javascript and external javascript this linking can also be done below this okay inside the head tag i will come i will refresh this one again i'm going to get the result if i just change here let me just write here khanam one i will save this i will refresh this one khanam one is displayed okay but to execute this javascript we should link this inside html document when we are writing javascript inside html document then it should be wrapped inside the script tags only then our code will execute now if i just remove the script tags now directly if i just write here you can see it is not going to execute me it is not related to javascript it is simply i have just written the code and that will be displayed here because i have just written this content inside this body tag so it is going to display here if I just wrap this inside this script tags, then it is going to give me this result. Khanam. First here I am having this Khanam which is linked outside and this is my internal JavaScript. That is hello. Now suppose if I just remove this script external and paste below this one, I will save this. Now I will refresh this one. Then first I am having hello then i am having khanam1 okay whichever it is pasted first that will be taken as the higher priority and that results will be displayed first this is all about how to execute javascript node.js i have not shown you in next session we are going to set up node.js we are going to download and install that one 
After that, we are going to see how to execute JavaScript using Node. Okay, that's all for this session. Next session, we are going to see about Node.